glad to meet you in person. Not under good circumstances at least. educational tape is classified and restricted for viewing only by authorized personnel. If you're watching this video, then you must be an engineer aboard one of the United States' finest Type 53 Zachary nuclear power stations. The purpose of this and other installations like it is to provide the American Navy fleet long voyages to engage in battles in enemy waters. The existence of this installation is considered to be highly classified and should never be disclosed to anyone not designated by your commanding officer or the President of the United States. Punishment for breaking this oath of secrecy is, well, I'm sure you know. Your primary duty here is to ensure nothing goes awry with the power system. The entire system has been perfected by the finest engineers to require zero operating E event as detailed in section 6, paragraph 2 of your head.
The following educational tape is classified and restricted for viewing only by authorized personnel. This is a bulletin intended for engineers aboard Type 63 Nuclear Power Station. Recently, the site has had issues with pinhole leaks in the ventilation shafts. This is believed to have been called.
Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello, hello. <laughs> I always wondered why you answered the phone like that. You know, I wasn't sure this was how the story would end. Hell, I barely even believe any of it happened at all. I was broke, living in LA, and I accepted a job with shit pay just to make rent. Man, does that sound like the start of a B-grade horror flick? Doesn't make it much better that I was in a Nickelodeon-themed restaurant. Honestly, I'd have made more money if I took the ad and wrote the movie it was begging me to write, but... Nope. Instead, I called them up and aced the interview like an absolute sucker. Go me, I guess. I wasn't even there a day before I realized things were off. Apparently, the whole thing was caused by this one guy with ties to TBS. I think he and Eugene from Viacom have been feuding privately over some dirty investments and you and I got caught in the middle. After the incident in the power plant, I woke up three months later in Iceland. Apparently I made a break for it after you went psycho and got away. I still don't know how. I got picked up by a fisherman and his crew. I tried to tell my story, but, of course, no one believed me. How could they? I was stalked halfway across the ocean by Spongebob characters. What else am I supposed to say? I still think I'm insane just writing this, but I don't even think I could make this up if I desperately wanted to. I had myself admitted as soon as I got back to the States. The night terrors just wouldn't stop, and I needed all the help I could get. I could see its face. Your face. Whenever I closed my eyes or walked into a dark room. How screwed up is that? Well, it's no matter now, I hope. The doc's given me the go-ahead to be discharged. Thankfully, they've got a job lined up for me. I'm a night guard. <laughs> Jesus. Why did I even say yes to that? Well, it should be fine. I'm just watching a mall in some backwater town in Oregon. Myriad Square Gardens, I think it's called. Hopefully no more mascots, no more robots, and no more fear. Anyway, this is my last journal entry from the hospital, so wish me luck back out in the wide world. From the Journal of Eli Floyd, former night guard at the Krusty Krab themed restaurant in Santa Monica. May 9th, 2007. Adios, Hammerhead.